Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. This quote is by Vincent Barnett. Almost everything is more complicated than it seems, but almost nothing is hopeless. It's a good one. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials up 121, NASDAQ up 73, S&P's up 16, gold contract flat at 1,187.10 an ounce. What gold did out here, folks, is this. You had gold have wide price spread yesterday, accelerated volume, got under that today, rejected lower price. Now what we need is a basically a sign of strength inside the gold market. Silver, down seven cents at $16.67. Platinum, off $8 at 1,118 an ounce. Copper down three and a half pennies at 281 a pound. Light sweet crude, down 41 cents trading at $57.62 a barrel. Bonds, the 10 year flat, 127.29. 30 year up 10 ticks at 156.17. Now, both the bonds, 10 and 30, moved higher. Well, the 10 was flat. 30 was up 10. They both had volume behind the move yesterday and they had volume today. So, what that's saying is that the bond market wants to hit the swing point, which is only about 10 ticks higher in each one of those markets. We'll see whether they basically uh, bonds want to actually go up to the highs and or is this a counter trend bounce. It looks to me like it's a counter trend bounce because what has happened is that as we had gone higher yesterday, um, it, when you have real strength behind the market and you're right next to a swing point, it should be able to get it. But bottom line, I suspect we'll hit it tomorrow. King dollar. King dollar down uh, 27 ticks, traded at 98.37. What King Dollar had done, folks, is this. Now, this is going to be really intuitive looking at where King Dollar is, number one, and is this the end of the counter trend bounce? And, and it's pretty amazing uh, what we did. King Dollar traded up to a price point today of 97.88. And from the move down to the move up, I'll put this on the charts right now, if you're watching Tiger TV, what you're going to see is this, is that what King Dollar, when King Dollar came downtown, uh, the high that was generated in King Dollar goes back to the 13th of March. That high was 100.78. You did the first leg down, first leg down brought you into this 97.68 area. That leg was finished on in March 26th. You did a counter trend bounce. You know, you got up to the 100 point again, you 100.27, which is pretty intense because 100.75 is the high. Then what do you do? You go straight down again. You go straight down from 100 until the about 10 days, well, three, six, seven trading days ago, 93.17. Now we come off of that, the 0.618 retracement is 97.827. And we did 97.880. Now, it was so intriguing, you know, being in front of a machine intraday when I, I was watching this coming up to it. And sure enough, you could see the, the first sell off of that intraday. You know, because when you're looking at the dollar, the dollar looked, you know, strong. It was strong like bull. Uh, and then all of a sudden, guess what? Hits that number. Uh, that number was hit at 9 o'clock this morning, and by 9.50 this morning, you had sellers come in that number. Uh, and what you do have inside that market right now, you'll see how, how these sellers came in. You know, the, the first get-go, uh, each 10-minute bar, they kept accelerating on the way down. And what we do have right now is that the low that was established out here today, which was that 97.05 number, there's juice down there. So this dollar, I suspect, what you're going to see overnight is that it's going to run into those numbers overnight. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay. So we take a look at the SPY. The SPY right now, folks, you're at highs. Um, no juice behind the move, but bottom line, get 
brought it all the way back on price. Uh, right now, you're at 212.70. The high out there is uh, 213.78, more than likely. Guess what? We're gonna, gonna hit it again. That's how this is shaking out. The Qs, the NDX100 was the strongest indice out there today in a huge way, not in a small way. Uh, and what you had is this, is that we did volume of 28 million, you're up $1.76, uh, you're at a closing high, uh, inside the NDX100, well hit. Now let's go to the composite, actually, go to the c composite itself also closed at a high. Uh, the composite closed up 73 bucks. If we go back to the NDX100 for a second, what you're going to see is this, is that at 150 Eastern Standard Time today, you had uh, Broadcom, um, basically news came across the tape that there's a rumor that um, AVGO wants to take over Broadcom, and Broadcom intraday went up 20% in a heartbeat without being halted as a stock, which is pretty amazing. Uh, AVGO, that did the exact same thing. AVGO closed up $10, that went up about 11%. Uh, simultaneously, that needless to say, if we uh, take a look at, uh, I'll put this, uh, the three Qs inside a um, intraday chart uh, to see what kind of juice that you got inside that market. And that market uh, at that 150 uh, was was pretty dramatic. Uh, there's no two ways about that. Uh, what you had out here is that that little baby had jumped from a price point of. Uh, one uh, one ten fifty, and it was up to uh, one ten eighty one on about a heartbeat. You know, so th there was definitely some juice that's underneath that. If we go take a look at the IWM, IWM is hanging right out there at highs. Also, the IWM right now is trading at one twenty four seventy seven, and the highs. You know, the the IWM only made it last time to the one twenty five forty six. So we'll see if, if, in fact, it can get up and over that. The high of the small caps is a lot high. Well, not a lot higher. It's 127.13. Uh, last time we were up here, though, uh, what you had is that that number, the three tops on the IWM, have not got pierced yet. You know, so we'll see whether that is going to change. Some of the high-volume stocks in this low-volume market, uh, Michael Kors was the one that got absolutely toasted and roasted today. That was down $14, or uh, what's that? That's almost 25%. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, you had uh, Broadcom. That was up 20%. That was up $10. Apple was up 245 You had Microsoft up 102 Qualcomm was up 166 inside the Dow Industrials. Now, the Dow wasn't that strong out here, but was, what was putting juice inside it were the three tech stocks, Microsoft, Apple, and Intel. Inside the NDX 100, that was all about uh, BRCM, AVGO. Um, and what, what is surprising, you know, particularly for the aspect of um, the NASDAQ, because the composite is at highs, that was without the... IBB going to the ceiling. You know, the IBB was up $6, but that's how that likes to trade. That's either trades at up $6 or down $6. The IBB, which is the biotech index, is trading at a, a 366 right now. That high is 374. And you know what? That high is going to get hit. Um, light volume out here today, no doubt. We're at uh, 366.96, but you got over the downdraft. That had been out here on the 28th, on the 27th rather, 27th of April. The IBB went from 365 to 347, monster volume on the way down. You did uh, 4.3 million, you did 1.3 in the way up. That means it's going to tag the high. That means you're at highs once again with what? With light volume. What is that? That's distribution. But each and every time that you get up there, folks, bottom line, what do big operators get to do? They get to push large amounts of stock out at advantageous prices. And then what you see on the way down, of course, there's not enough room for folks to get out of the marketplace. Some of the Dow stocks out here. We had uh, Caterpillar uh, flat. Boeing was up 20 cents. You had uh, Coke up 13 cents. Not a lot, lot of movement. Uh, big Blue was up 187. You had 3M up 143. Uh, inside the oil market, actually, let's go over and take a look at the actual oil contract. We'll do that as soon as we come back. 
Uh, oil contract was uh, trading down 39 at 57.64. Dow Industrials finished up uh, 121. You get the Nasdaq up 73. S&Ps are up uh, 15. You stay right there, folks. Come right back.